y'all. It's me, Charlene, and you're watching Charlene Cuisine, a real American cooking show for real American women who want to eat real good and look real good too. Now I know what you might be thinking, Charlene, why are you dressed up like a sexy little hot dog? Let me tell you, that's because this is a very special episode. Welcome to the Halloween Spooktacular, y'all. It is gonna be a rootin' tootin' good time. We got thrills, chills, and overdue bills. <laughs> you know we do, y'all. You know we do. All right, so I thought to myself, what's the scariest gosh darn thing you can think of, Charlene? All right, you're dressed up like a real American meal. That ain't scary, because I ain't one for scares. But you know what I thought of? Scariest thing? Not being from America. Would that not just terrify y'all? So this is what I did. I went out and I found me a real life Canadian to come on the show today. That's right y'all, he's from Canada. He ain't from America, he ain't from land that I love trailer park, which is where I come from. So I don't know nothing about him or his culture. But I'll tell ya, I've been to a county fair or two, all right? I bring my baby boy Dale Earnhardt Jr. with me and we have ourselves a time. Now, they got lots of food at the county fair, and one of them had a Canadian flag flying above it, and they were selling, like, french fries with gravy and cheese on them, and you're never going to believe the silly little thing they call it. They call it poutine, y'all. <laughs> poutine. <laughs> if that ain't the least appetizing name I ever did here. But you know what? It tasted okay. It tasted okay. So we're going to give it a try. Now... This foreign feller, I don't know much about him, but I know that he likes to cook too. So I'm sure he's gonna think that I'm a great cook and I'm excited to feed him. So here's what we're gonna do, y'all. We're gonna bring him in and we're gonna show him what a real American Hall of Ingredients looks like. And we're gonna make ourselves some poutine. So uh, stay tuned, y'all. We'll be back. Oh, and we're back. All right, y'all. Now, I'm very excited to introduce my co-host. I'm a little scared, but I'm excited. Listen up, America. Straight from Canada, we got Jaquise McDonald, everybody. Here he is. Hi, Jaquise. Hi there. How are you doing today? Oh, aren't you a funny sounding feller? What, uh, what you speaking there, Canadian? That's, uh, that's, we speak, uh, the same language there. I, uh, that's, that's just, yes, it's, uh, it's Canadian. Sure, sure. Well, I didn't understand a lick of that, but uh, welcome. We're excited to have you. Uh, you got through customs and everything, and here he is, so that's exciting. I got through, uh, no problem, sure. Yeah, we're, uh, we're known for being polite and friendly. Oh, yeah, you're friendly people. That's great, y'all. We're, uh, we're real friendly in America here, too, let me tell you. We're, re <laughs> we're real friendly. Now, listen, uh, Jaquise. It's Jaquise? Uh, it's Jock. Uh, Jock McDonald. Jock. Like a uh, like a jock strap? It's uh yes, just just like that. Sure, yeah, yeah. Like, like a jock like a jock strap. All right, well, all all right, feller. Uh, we'll uh we'll just go with that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a dish that is uh traditional to your country. Yeah. I think you're uh, big on poutine. Yeah, yeah. We have uh, plenty of recipes for that. We do. Yeah. yeah. And do you cook? I do. Uh, I have. Uh, I have my uh, my own show uh, back uh, back north. Uh, it's called uh, Jacques Crocs. It's uh, it's on the YouTube there. Uh, we have uh, crock pot recipes. It's about five minutes of me throwing vegetables into a pot, and then three and a half hours of watching them cook slowly. Three and a half hours. That's three, 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 y'all. But that's like the big three, three, three. Now we do everything in the microwave. So when we do three, three, three. It's three minutes, 33 seconds. I don't have sure. hours. I'm a real American woman. I don't have time for crock pots, but uh, whatever you do up there in, uh, in Canada, I guess uh, works for y'all. So uh, oh, sure. that's exciting. So you got a show, but it ain't on the TV? It's it's not on the TV. It's oh. not uh, fancy like uh, this here. Did you know we're on the TV? I uh, I was told, my uh, my agent. Uh, He's got an agent. He'll be, he'll be fired soon. Oh, oh, well, we'll send him a gift basket. So, uh, let me tell you, you're on the TV right now if you want to say hi to America, the land that I love. It's, uh, it's right there, America. Hi there, friends. Calm down. Ha, <laughs> ha, all of you. Sure. <laughs> He's silly. I think they ride horses up there. All right, so, uh, 
We're gonna make some poutine. Now I'm gonna show you my real American Hall of Ingredients that I got at the Everything's a Book, all right? All right, sure. Okay, so uh, now do y'all have Everything's a Book up in Canada? I, do we, don't we have Tim Hortons is up there. That's what they call them. What in the gosh darn is a Tim Horton? That's a, that's a grocery store that they call up there. It's a Tim Hortons. That's... Tim Horton. That sounds like he hears a who, y'all. <laughs> you go to the market to hear a who. <laughs> uh, you know, we just go into the pickup truck and we play the who. That's when we hear who is in the uh, the pickup truck. So uh, anyway, sugar, we're going to go over our ingredients, all right? Now, uh, here's what I like to do. Now, this is actually a heavy haul today. We're going to put this down here. And uh, this is how I heard you're supposed to make poutine, right? We got french fries from the everything's a book. Now I got the smiley face kind, cause you know my boy Dale Earnhardt Jr. He likes it when his snacks smile back. You know, he likes a snack with a lot of personality. So we went with that. And then we've got our uh, cheese wow. It's essential, the cheese wow that goes right on the top of the dish. We got ourselves some gravy. Now some people like chicken gravy, some like beef gravy. This here's brown gravy. I like my gravy to be brown, so oh, sure. I went sure. with brown gravy, and uh, then I got these. Would you look? Would you look at these? Now I like to put the gravy in these because plating is everything, y'all. This is a Halloween spooktacular. We're not gonna go with the white plates. We're gonna put it on fancy pumpkin plates, and everyone's gonna get their own little shot of gravy. But you want to put it on the poutine, not just shoot it back like it's whiskey, y'all. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> That would be crazy. We're not gonna do that. And uh, sugar, listen, I did get these to uh, to prep the dish on right here, but I also, I didn't know that you knew about Halloween. I see you got a pumpkin shirt on. Oh, sure. So uh, that's crazy. Y'all do Halloween in the Canadas? We do. We enjoy the, the, the Halloween uh, with Trick or Treat actually came from Canada. That was us. The, the phrase Trick or Treat? That, that originated in the great white north well y'all i just learned something i thought the only thing worth a darn in canada was bret hart but now i'm finding out they came out with trick-or-treat that's pretty all right y'all canada might end up being a uh, one of my top 10 favorite countries at the end of this episode i don't know but i did get you something because i figured you know you want to maybe wear something spooky i got you this here shirt on account of you being an alien and all so you want to oh. Sure. It's I'll, a gift from America. It's from the Everything's I'll, a Book. It's uh. That's very nice. I'll, we'll put that right on. That's, yeah, it's an it's an American design. shirt. It's a. Uh, uh, yeah, it was made in China. Uh, we like to buy a lot of our T-shirts from China uh, because we don't have a whole lot of extra income just be spending on T-shirts all willy nilly. I don't know how you do it in Canada, but we like to get everything for a buck. So. Here's what we're gonna do, y'all. I think my co-host is gonna change because that T-shirt's precious. And then we're gonna get to cooking. So you stay tuned. Mm. And we're back. All right, y'all. So my co-host is in his real handsome shirt and we've got our real American haul of ingredients. I think we're ready to cook, sugar. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, we're, I had, earlier today, I had brought uh, some potatoes because they're a vegetable that we use sometimes when we cook. Uh, yeah, you didn't, uh, you didn't use those, I see, uh, you have. Well, what the heck would I need a potato for? I got a bag of fries. That was, that was silly of me, sure, yeah, yeah, yes. I mean, sugar, it's, it's french fries, why would I, it's why would I need fries. a. Why would you need potatoes? Yeah, I already bought. The french fries at, at the everything's a book. Y'all just do it the, the hardest way, I guess, up in Canada. Y'all, uh, I heard the people south of us are supposed to be the hardworking people and the people north of us are supposed to be the ones doing drugs legally. We, uh, yeah, we have a lot of, a lot of problems in our country. A lot of, a lot of issues up north, just bunch of crazies running around, that's us. Yeah, well, it kind of sounds like y'all been going to, you know, Satan's salad bar, smoking the marijuanas, and I don't, in America, we like to live above the influence and under the law. That's how we like to do things here in America, so. It seems to be working great for you. 
Yeah, I mean, we don't have like healthcare or anything, but we got smiley face french fries, so <laughs> that's good enough for me. <laughs> it's good enough for me, sugar. All right, now I'm gonna show you how we get down on this poutine, all right? Now we got our smile fries, and oh, would you look at that? Is that not the happiest little french fry you ever did see? <laughs> beautiful and we're just gonna put them on our plate here now what I like to do when I make this from a beautiful baby boy Dale Earnhardt Jr. I like to arrange the smile fries in a smile you know just a, a smile face of smile fries because if that's not the happiest plate sure you need something to smile at while you're looking at that yeah, yeah. I mean it's it's art, you know, it's all about, it's all about expressing yourself. I, um, I get emotional sometimes when I talk about America and about the things that are important to me, you know, and, uh, in America, we like to do things that just make us happy. You know, we like to chase our dreams. And, uh, for me, I like to chase my dreams with an additional chaser of cheese. Wow. You know, I feel like <laughs> chase your dreams with some cheese. Wow. <laughs> You know, that's just how we like to do it. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna put these in the microwave. Now, I don't know how Canadian women do it, but in America, us real American women, we don't walk around with an abacus or a Texas instrument. We don't like to do a lot of math, all right? So what we do is we just put things in the microwave for easy numbers. For these, we're gonna do two, 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 222. And then you got time to have a smoke. You can rock a piss. You can do whatever you gotta do. By the time you come back, you're gonna have some steaming hot cuisine ready to go. What do you know about that, y'all? That, that looks, that looks like something you, you could eat. You could, y'all, you definitely could, and we're gonna, here we go. We're gonna put it in the microwave, 222. I just throw it in there, and when you hear this noise in the background on Charlene Cuisine, that's when you know we're cooking up dreams, y'all. We're cooking up something real nice like. Now, we got a little bit of time while this cooks, all right? And normally what I like to do is I like to get all my other ingredients ready. So by the time it comes out and my family's ready to eat, my food's ready to go. So here's what I'm gonna do, all right? I'm gonna move these right down here and I'm gonna start prepping everything, okay? So for us, we like to open up our, our gravy and just pour ourselves a little shot glass of it. Mmm, would you look at that? That certainly looks American. That is, you know, sugar, it is American. Let me tell you, uh, I got this at the Everything's a Buck. Now, this is crazy. So my friend Buck, he's a real American man, all right? He's got himself two beautiful daughters, Fawn and Bambi. You never seen two girls prettier than Fawn and Bambi, let me tell you. And when their Aunt Dottie got the bunions real bad back in 92, Buck inherited one of the nicest single wides I ever saw. And he already had his own single wides. So you know what he did? He mushed them together, blew out a wall or two, and made us the everything's a buck. So now right here in the land that I love, Trailer Park, everything you need is in that everything's a buck. You don't have to leave the park. I sure don't. <laughs> Sounds like a real American <laughs> success story. Y you know, rags to riches, y'all. Let me tell you, he is doing all right. Because now he's got himself a double wide. And let me tell you, those, <laughs> you got to have double wide dreams to live in double wide homes, y'all. I got the single wide still, but you know what? We're going to do well, I think, on the TV. I think we're going to upgrade real soon. I don't know. My family's growing. My baby boy, Dale Earnhardt Jr., is about to have his first baby, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr., and we are so excited. Ah, and I'm sorry, that, that, that name one more time, Dale Earnhardt Jr., there's, and that's the name. Yeah, that's of, the name. Of a person that you named. Yeah, that's my baby boy. My name's Charlene Jr. I named my baby boy Dale Earnhardt Jr. because back when I got pregnant, so I was 15, and this was back when Dale Earnhardt Jr. was in the Bush series, all right? This was back in uh, 92. And he won for the first time ever when I was pregnant. So I had, I knew what I had to do. So it was a sign then. Yeah, oh, sure. absolutely, absolutely. Sure. I mean, Lord, the Lord. He spoke to me. He spoke to me. My mama, April May Jr., she was making magic sparkle toast for breakfast, uh, which is bread with mayonnaise and cinnamon sugar on top. And I was like, this is magic sparkle toast. This is a magic race on the TV. This baby's gonna be magic. 
And the only option I had was either name him Magic Johnson Jr. or Dale Earnhardt Jr. And I think the choice was obvious. All right. Glad you went with what you did. You know, I mean, if I had a second baby boy, his name would be Magic. I'm sure of it. I'm just sure. But, uh... Daryl cheated, so he didn't stick around. I only got one baby out of him, and uh, now I'm dating. So if anyone's interested in being the hamburger to my hot dog, call me. What a catch. Hey, you know, I'm gonna be blushing as red as my lipstick. Oh my word. Now our french fries are done. That's... Are you excited? That's, that's a thing that happens, sure, certainly, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and grab them from the microwave sugar. Here we go. Oh my god, do you smell that? I do. I do can. you smell it? It's gonna be in the apartment for a couple of days. Sure. You know, I mean this is a this is a real nice looking meal, but it ain't done. You no, know, there's more. I mean you could eat these with some mayonnaise. That's what I normally do with my small fries. I was pulling mayonnaise on them, but I think because we're gonna make the poutine and it's the Halloween spooktacular. We got some pumpkin plates. We're gonna put those on there. Let me grab those. And uh, I got you a little something, sugar. And uh, cause I I think I get the joke, but I need your help. So I got I got these right here at the Everything's a Book, these pumpkin plates, but these right here, would you look at these? Now they say something in, in Canadian on there. Mm-hmm, bon, bon appetit, I see that. <laughs> Like a bone. Y'all, it's a little chef with a fork and knife. It looks just like Mama Charlene, but it's Canadian, so you know, it definitely ain't. So here's what we want to do. We're going to put our french fries here on the pumpkin plate. Now see what I did? We got ourselves a face here. We got ourselves a face here. Really plan that out. So when we plate these ever so delicately, we can just put it right along the mouth and the eyes already. And I know what you're thinking. Charlene, what about the nose? I know. That's what I was thinking, sure. I, I, sure, I yeah. can tell, you know. Us American women, we're very intuitive people. We're very intuitive people. We got the ESPN, we really, we know what's going on. So here's what we want to do. All right, for that nose, this right here is gonna go on that, but not before we dress them. Poutine is all about the cheese and the gravy. So remember, we got our cheese wow. And what you want to do, shake it up real good like. You want to try to shake it up? Absolutely, sure. No, preparation is the key to culinary art. Take this away from me. Art, you hear that? It's art. So we're going to just, uh, we're going to decorate it. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, that is. Oh, what do you know about that? Oh, you see how nice and thick and creamy it is? It just kind of hangs on there, you know? And that just tells me when, when a food hangs on like that, right out the can, that tells me that the flavor is going to just linger and linger. Oh, sure. Absolutely. That's going to stick around. Absolutely. And then you take your little shot glass. Now, at the party, when you have a party, you would serve it like this, and then they would come get their shot glass of gravy. They dress their own. But we're partying right here, right now, sugar. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, dress this up like this. And do you just plating is everything? It is just. Look at what a difference that makes. It it elevates it. It. It's something else now. It it's was beautiful. something before and it's something different now, sure. It's, it's just beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I get emotional. Sometimes when I think about Halloween, I think about my baby boy, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and all the parties we had and all the little costumes. I put him in and you know, he's gonna be a daddy. They just, they grow up so fast, y'all. They grow up so fast. You got gonna kids? Be, gonna be more of you running around. Oh yeah, we're we're a growing family. Thank goodness. I need mouths to feed. I think we're all happy about my family. Sure. Growing sure. big. There's more. But do you do you have kids, sugar? I no, no, no. Me and the missus, we're uh we're we're we decided to stay responsible and control the population of the planet. There's a lot of there's why am I talking to you? Why why am I saying words? The planet, I mean you concern yourself with the plan. I concern myself with America and America only. You know, I like to think local. I like to love local. The borders of my heart are the same as the borders of this country. All right. Doesn't mean I don't like people from elsewhere. I just prefer people from here, you know? Sure, yeah. No, I can, I can see why you cry sometimes when you talk about America. I, I'm 
getting a little, a little sad myself when I hear you talk about this country. Oh, I ain't sad, sugar. I'm overwhelmed with pride. I ain't sad about nothing. We're doing pretty good down here. You ever heard of Ford trucks? I've heard of them, sure. Yeah. 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 Know That's... where those come from? Is it, is the answer America to your question? It's America, y'all. It's America. They come from America. <laughs> what do you it's have in Canada? Not, not a, not, is she, is she real? Is this a thing that's happening? That's. I'm, I'm one of the realest good. women you're ever going to meet, sugar. Oh my goodness. Listen, try my cooking. Try my cooking. All right, here we go. Go ahead and grab yourself a snack. I made this because it's the traditional snack of your country. So go ahead and grab, grab a snack. That's. You want yeah. a napkin? Is there, sure. Yeah, go ahead and take a nice bite of this here. Mmm, poutine. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh! That's, that's strong. If that ain't delicious, that I have to wipe is. my face because I got the lipstick. Mmm. Mm. Absolutely, sure. That is sure. just, you know what? Mmm. I'm gonna go on record. I'm gonna say something real, real big here. All right. Um, so I got a friend, I got a good friend. Her name's Alberta. And we used to always razz her because we're like, Alberta, what are you, from Canada? <laughs> they got a place called Alberta. And uh, she had hammer toes, so we made fun of her for a lot of reasons, but I'm gonna come out and say it. I think Canada is now my second favorite country. I think it's my second favorite country, y'all. This dish was delicious. I want to apologize to Alberta. Hope your hammer toes are healing up real nice like. I got you some nice flag flip flops at the Old Navy for a dollar and I would like to give them to you. I think you're gonna look great. And uh, I'm done calling you Canadian because honestly, it's not an insult. You're pretty, you're pretty nice guy. I mean, you're very polite. You ate my poutine. You said it was better than any Canadian poutine you ever had, I think. I think you said that. And uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to say it. I, I outcooked Canada today, y'all. <laughs> I, I outcooked Canada. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and do as is customary, my little, uh, dessert cigarette. Now, do you smoke up in Canada? I, uh, I, I don't. It's, it's real popular where we are, but, uh, I'm not a, I'm not a smoker. Yeah, uh, do you have... Uh, Canadian gold cigarettes, because we got USA gold cigarettes here. They must be the best. They're gold. They're gold. They're gold. I mean, that's some fancy metal, y'all. It is. Mmm. These are filling. I don't know if I can uh, finish. No, you go this. ahead, sugar. You eat the uh, whole plate. We'll uh, be right back. You take your time. Right there. And we're back. All right, y'all. Now, when I think frightening, I think not living in America. Because this is the greatest country on earth. We have the best food. We have the best, most hardworking women. And granted, the men are cheaters. But you know what? Not all of them. I had a date last episode with Boomer. He was a nice guy. I think I'll be seeing him again, actually. Pretty soon, pretty soon. I'll check the calendar, but I think it's gonna happen pretty soon. He's gonna call me any day. He's got the Cricket Wireless, so he doesn't call a whole bunch, but I think once he buys some minutes after he gets paid from the fashion bug, I'm gonna be getting a call. I'm just gonna say it right now. You're gonna be seeing him again. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about everything, because this is America, the land of opportunity. Now, while it's my favorite country on earth, I found a second favorite country today, y'all. Canada. Because Canada, while they're totally backwards people, they don't really get what's going on in the real world. What they do understand is cuisine. This poutine, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna go ahead and give it four. Mm-mm-mms. Because it was delectable. Now, I told you last time, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not just American for the camera. I'm American 24-7, baby. All right, so if you wanna check out all the American things I'm doing, you go ahead on that Instagrams and you follow Charlene Cuisine. That's where you're gonna find all things Charlene, all things American, all the time, y'all. 
I'm American all the time. So you go ahead and check that out. You follow us on the Facebooks. We're going to be on there. You're going to see these episodes. You're going to see Canadians. You're going to see all sorts of crazy stuff. You never know what you're going to get. So here's what we're going to do. All right. We're going to go ahead and finish up this meal. I think my co-host really liked it. So we're going to just finish this up. Now, I wish I could invite y'all over, but I got me a pretty small trailer. So keep watching me on the TV. I'm hoping for a double wide by next year, maybe for Christmas. And uh, that's gonna do it, y'all. I'm just uh, I'm just really proud. I'm really proud of what we did here today. Two cultures came together. They bonded over brown gravy and cheese. Wow, smiling for us. And you know what we ended up with? Smiling faces, y'all. And you're gonna see these smiling faces next time. We'll be seeing you. The monster party was in effect. I heard some noises, so I went to inspect. Vampire man was doing the twist. Boxy head boat net just couldn't resist. He jumped in with toothy and started to dance. Bent over so low, he nearly split his pants. The wrapped-up Egyptian was sure having fun, but the cloth wound around him was coming undone. It was the monster party filled with monster goers. Fresh potato. Oh, sugar. No, 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 no.